welcome back to my channel and today as promised we're going to be doing a how to create a youtube custom thumbnail so um i've arranged a photo and particular things that i'm going to be showing you guys just a simple and easy way how you'll be able to make a custom um thumbnail off of um, any like ipad or um iphone galaxy phone that you may have with two simple apps so I'm gonna go here to my editing folder. And as you can see, there's many apps, but the apps in particular that I use is the app called Image Size. And this gives you the option to create your YouTube thumbnail in the correct width and height. So me at first, when I was starting to do thumbnails, I didn't know what the um, frame of it was. So I Googled it and the width is 1280 and the height is 720. So when you're creating it, it's good to download this image size app and do that. And then you can go here and of course you can select your photo. So I did already pre-organize um, some photos for you guys and um, that I'm gonna be like, you know, doing it to show you exactly how the thumbnail will come out in the end. So the next thing um, I use is, sometimes I use this, it's called PicMonkey um blank canvas is one of the things on there i just discovered uh, a few weeks ago when i went to show my friend something give her some ideas they have a lot of um backgrounds and you'll be able to see what i'm talking about just in a few minutes when i show you um one example you actually may have seen in my two previous videos the intro with the background that says curling's life nyc that um pattern i did get from inside here it's this pattern, I believe the chevron pattern. I was able to change up the colors and just do a whole bunch of really nice stuff to it. You can make it less opacity and more opacity. So that's um just a nice app to use if you're into making backgrounds with a little bit of um patterns and prints on them. And then Pix Art, I use to, of course, put text on to the thumbnail which will signify what the video will be about yes so let's go into um photos and i created a little thing called blogging here so i actually filmed this video before and then i realized i have so many photos and they weren't pertaining to what i wanted to show you guys so i decided to make um a blogging album and specifically put those things that i'm going to be using into this folder so it'll be more neat and you can clearly see what's going on so this is what we're aiming to create it's a thumbnail that i had created in the last video i just took a random picture of myself in chicago and um yeah i decided to make it like i was pretending to make a thumbnail about a vlog about my day in chicago of course i don't have a vlog like that I should have though because Chicago was a nice um state to visit. Yeah. So this is what we're aiming to create. A thumbnail for YouTube based on a pretend vlog about a day in Chicago. Yes. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. This is the original photo with nothing there. So we are gonna get ready and go into the um app image size. <laughs> When I go to image size, let's see. I'm gonna go to the blogging folder. I'm gonna click on the photo that I wanna use. And I'm gonna click choose. Now, the width is set to 1280, 720. So this is the size that the YouTube thumbnail will be, right? So in particular, um, First, I've done it like this. I wanted to not block the bean because if you bring it down, you'll be kind of yeah, blocking, you know, a little bit of yourself or the ground, but you'll see the bean. But I don't want to put the words on the bean strictly because it's like, you know, that the object takes up the photo and you want to be able to see it. You don't want to put words on it or anything to block it. So I brought this up just a little bit because I'm going to put the words in the lower corner. Okay, so this is how I did it. I just align it. 
and I leave the two white spaces on the side, which as y'all seen in the last photo that I showed you, we're gonna fill that up with the words Chicago on one side and Illinois on the other. Okay, so I save that. Now I go into PixArt, which will create the text for the um, thumbnail. Click it. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go to the text. I like to make it capital. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do, but just for the purpose of the video and trying to show you what to do, this is what I'm gonna do. A day in Chicago, yes. Then I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit. Gonna make it black. You can also play around, you know, with other colors, but I feel like black would just stand out more if I were to actually make a thumbnail like this for an actual video. I like to tilt it just a little bit, bring this out. And then I click apply, I click next, and I wanna save it to photos. Right, so you come out here. And now you have the recent photo did you've just saved and I'm actually going to try and move it to a different album so that it'll be inside of that particular album that we're using all right so I'm gonna go back to the blogging album and here is right the pre thumbnail now you can leave it just like this you don't have to put anything on the sides. You can upload it, it's the correct format, but if you wanted to do something more so that it doesn't look so plain, go back into PixArt, you go here. I believe it was this one. Yes, so we click this one. Now, you're gonna spell out Chicago, <laughs> or Chicago as they call it, All right? And then me, I, in the last video, I changed the words. They were blue. So now let's pick a different color. Let's see. We don't have to pick blue. We could do this, like an off lilac purple. Right? And I would bring the words over here. And I'd say Chicago. I would just balance it out in the middle and try and stretch the words so it fills up the corners. Chicago. Then I'll make another text, bold, Illinois. I would click that same color again. Or was it this color? It wasn't that color. It was this guy. Yes. And I would bring this over here to this side, Chicago. And then we have Illinois on one side. And I would just try again to balance it out in the middle and extend the word from corner to corner so that it looks similar to the other one. So now see, this just adds a little bit more to the thumbnail and it looks a little bit more appealing than it would with just the normal um, white sides on it. So you go back into your photos and I'm going to move this into the album that we are working on. Go back to blogging. And this is basically the final product. So it's in the 128720 YouTube thumbnail size format. It's easy, um, easily able to upload in this particular format and it will change the thumbnails and you can see. So I'm gonna take you to my YouTube um, channel and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Now, on my what's on my phone video, this is a very uh, primary example of how the thumbnail looks. I didn't decide to put any extra words on the white 
border as I did when we created this one right here. I left it just like this way, just blank. But if I wanted to, I could have put something on the side. But when it uploads, it looks nice. It looks just regular, it looks like this. Now, in my Rockefeller Center Christmas video, it's just a picture. I kind of like extended myself and Christina's face and then I put my Christmas Happy New Year in the bottom right corner. You can do something like that. But you know, that's if you have pictures of yourself, your friends, but if it's just of an object, or, you know, just one picture of you singular, you can do that. But this is just all these examples of how to create um, custom thumbnails. I did a video like this a long time ago, but I feel like I've uh, learned a lot more now <laughs> than I knew two years ago. So I'm able to create much, much more um, better and much more appealing thumbnails, which get, you know, draw viewers, draw attention for people to want to check out your videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and learned. And if you have any other tips that you think will be helpful to others who are trying to learn to create their own custom thumbnails, definitely drop those ideas and your opinions in the comments below. I'll be filming some videos for you guys also to drop in the coming weeks. So I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. I hope you like, um, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys. Bye.